Kawhi body might have been a Kim uh, Kimberly might have been a Sokova don't know because when I got it, it didn't have a neck and the neck is from the same period Japanese uh, late 60s early 70s solid wood neck put together very nicely turning turning it into a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale with modern geometry feels like a normal modern day allows me to put a normal tunematic bridge on it because the geometry is correct matched with this vintage trim that works pretty good it's a lot like a bigsby in its construction there's a rod in there that rotates and the strings go around it and you know you just kind of take the pressure off and the strings you know the nice thing about this thing is if you don't want to trim you can just take the arm off and run it straight through and then it's a fixed tailpiece but it looks good because it has a cover and you rarely find them the cover for some reason people chuck the cover and the, the mechanism under there is not anything you really want to look at quite honestly <laughs> So the neck is solid maple, and it has a very normal D feel, kind of medium, medium to small. Got your new Grover tuners on there, um, a new bone nut at 111 16 has a 12 inch radius. The Jeskar 47 104 frets are brand new, perfectly flat, perfectly set up. Rosewood fretboard all original and the bindings all original there's only like one spot up here where it's flaked off and it's a rat rod so it doesn't matter now when i got it the body that was just the body there was no pick guard or anything else so i made a new pick guard and new i uh, got myself a matched made a hand wound set of my p90s which are reverse wound reverse pull so they they hum cancel when played together you can hear this they're close enough together you almost get a little stratty effect out of it that's how that's how the strat thing works is they have to be a certain distance apart to do that stratty thing if you get too far apart then they sound like a les paul which is not stratty um, we got new pots, new knobs. When I got it the back side, there was this weird, goofy gra graffiti crap on there. Somebody had tried to sand it out with really aggressive sandpaper. I, I sanded it all out, you know, buffed it out, and got most of the scratches out, but there's still plenty of scratches left over from whoever that bonehead that did that. And I just left it at matte because, you know, what's the point you know what uh, glossy days are over gloss, gloss is overrated I, I hate glossy stuff if you want to gloss it up you stand at the buffer all day and you, you do that doesn't need it plays great gig ready set up perfectly very low action very fast action seven pounds four ounces perfect balance it's it's a solid body it's not a it's not plywood and it's not wafer thin it's a really nice really nice guitar it's ready to go it's a mashup a Kawhi Kimberly mashup and man it wants to rock <laughs>